Would you come all the way from Florida to San Francisco just to drive for Uber and Lyft? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share a story with you about a young man named Jeremy who did just that, and he's crushing it in the city by the bay. And stick around at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you what he is trying to accomplish in his one year here in San Francisco. Hey everybody, it's Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. And about three months ago, I uh, was contacted by a young man named Jeremy and I'm gonna tell you a story right now. So Jeremy contacted me and he said he wanted me to coach him. He wanted to have a coaching session. He wanted to talk to me and ask me some questions about driving in San Francisco. Jeremy is a rideshare guy reader and he had seen a lot of videos and uh, read a lot of the articles written by those of us at the rideshare guy. And he specifically wanted to ask me some questions because I'm here in San Francisco. And so we set up a time and, uh, and Jeremy and I spoke for about an hour and I answered his questions and really he wanted to know, is it realistic for him to be able to make uh, $2,000 a week driving in San Francisco? And I said, yes, absolutely you can. If you're a hard worker and you incorporate the things I've, I've been teaching about where to drive, when to drive, how to maximize your bonuses, you can absolutely do it. So then what Jeremy did is he created a strategy for himself. One strategy was to start to use a fair, uh, fair car. So FAIR is a program where you can get a car for $185 uh, per week, and then Uber offers some nice bonuses that you can uh, earn to offset that. The great thing about this program is, of course, you don't put wear and tear in your own car, you get unlimited miles, um, and, and uh, you, get a, you get a nice car. I actually used the program for 10 weeks and got a Hyundai Elantra, which was pretty cool. Jeremy was driving a Hyundai Sonata. Um, when he got here. So uh, that was one strategy. So he didn't have to worry about, you know, buying a car once he got here. So he flew here from Florida and then he, uh, he incorporated a lot of the strategies that I, I suggested about driving, you know, knowing where to go, how to handle the airport, um, busy parts of the city, what to do when you come across traffic. So he really had a plan so that he could maximize the amount of money that he could earn. So for this video and this article, I asked Jeremy, what's the best part about being a rideshare driver? And he said, the best part is the freedom and the flexibility and that you can drive when you want. Uh, most jobs, you can only work 40 hours and you get paid the same amount of money, even if you work 50 or 60. With this job, you can work 60 or 70 hours and you're gonna get paid more because you get paid you know, per hour, basically. Um, so if you really wanna go out and crush it, you can do that, you have that flexibility. Or if you want to take the weekend off, spend it with a friend and go to the wine country, you can do that as well. So then I asked Jeremy, what's the worst part about being a driver? And he said the same thing. It's the freedom and the flexibility. In other words, it's really easy to just blow a day off or blow a few days off or blow a week off just because you don't feel like working. So you really got to have that kind of a discipline. It's really like a two-edged sword being a rideshare driver. And that's what Jeremy said and that's what I've said in the past that you gotta have the discipline to make this thing work. Cause it's so easy to say, ah, oh, screw it, I'm gonna take the day off. And then you get off your, you get off your schedule and before you know it, a whole week might've gone by and you didn't make any money. So it's a two-edged sword. You gotta have the discipline to enjoy the freedom and the flexibility. So while, while Jeremy has been working as a driver, he's also been working on his plan B. If you have seen my video or read an article about Nathan, uh, who's a notary signing agent, Jeremy is on the fast track to become a notary signing agent. I know for a fact that he's already got his commission and he's gonna be starting soon in, in a week or so, a week or two uh, as a notary signing agent. So he came here just planning to drive 100%, but then he discovered this wonderful plan B. He and Nathan and I meet now and uh, he's working on his plan B so that he can make even more money than he originally planned. So key takeaways, here's what I'm gonna share with you what I promised you at the beginning of the video. Jeremy's goal has been to put aside $5,000 in profit at the end of each month. And as of three months from now, he's right on track. And now as he becomes a, a signing agent, he's even gonna be able to save more than that. So think about that. If you have a plan and you have strategies to help you accomplish your goals that are in your plan, you can do some amazing things. So at the end of a year, Jeremy will have a minimum of $60,000 saved up. And at that point, he's planning to maybe continue here or go to Southeast Asia for a while, live like a king and, and take some time off. 
that'll be up to him. But if you have a plan and you execute your plan and you stick to it and you, and you display discipline, you can do some amazing things with this rideshare gig. And in addition to that, use that freedom and flexibility to create a plan B, which he has done here with the, with the notary signing agent business. And he's gonna be even able to make more money faster as a result of that while he's also driving. So remarkable story and uh, hats off to uh, Mr. Jeremy for uh, uprooting himself from Florida, coming to San Francisco where rideshare driving is really popular and, and making things happen. If you're interested in a coaching session with me or one of our rideshare, uh, rideshare guy coaches, which is basically me, <laughs> um, you can click the link below uh, and, uh, and schedule a session. It's pretty inexpensive and I will talk to you for about 45 minutes and answer any questions that you might have if you want to get started or you're an experienced driver and you have some, some more um, in the weeds type of questions, I can help you with all of that. Click the link below. Hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a like. Uh, if you have not subscribed yet to this YouTube channel, by all means do. Uh, we're here to give you as much information as we can so that you can be the best driver that you can. So uh, subscribe. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. Be safe out there.